So if you were to write the net ionic equation for the aqueous reaction between perchloric acid and ammonia, let's just note that this is an aqueous reaction and you have an acid and a base. So if we were to write this, first you have HClO4, that's perchloric acid, and it's aqueous form, plus ammonia, which is NH3, and this is also an aqueous form. This will give you, now since ammonia is a base and accepts protons, it's going to accept a proton from HClO4, and you're going to get NH4 and then plus, and this is going to be an aqueous form, and then you have H ClO4 that's going to be left, so you have ClO4 minus in this aqueous form. Now how do we get this to become a net ionic equation? Well, we have to note whether this is a strong acid or weak acid. So ClO4, or perchloric acid, is a strong acid. So it exists as H plus and ClO4 minus all the time. It's, constant, it's completely dissociated. Now, since this is completely dissociated, we have ClO4 minus in the reactants and ClO4 minus in the products. So these cancel out. So you have H plus. Then you have NH3. Well, is this a strong base or a weak base? Well, it's a, it's a weak base. And also, NH3 cannot dissociate to form an OH minus group. So it just exists as NH3. And then you just have NH4 plus in your products here. So your to or net ionic equation would be H plus, which is the proton that ClO4 minus donates, plus, and this is an aqueous form, plus your NH3, which is your base, also exists in aqueous form, and this will form your NH4 plus, which is your ammonium ion forming an aqueous form. And ClO4 minus here is canceled out with the ClO4 minuses existing in the reactants, since this is a strong acid. So this is your net ionic equation.